Don't forget to blend it all together. Chin to if you feel like it. You don't want too much color on your lips, just a bit. So use a light tinted lip gloss. You'll want to use a lip brush though because you still need to give your lips definition. Especially if you're like me and your lips are kind of undefined. Use the brush to give your lips a definite shape. A little clear lip gloss then on top of the whole thing and your mouth will look moist and natural. There. I don't look particularly made up, do I? Pulled together, pretty and neat, and that's what you want for outdoors. Oh, your hair. Keep it simple. Don't overpower your pretty natural face now with hair that has too much going on. What I'd like to show you now is a makeup for a business situation. But first, again, let's talk about lighting. What kind of lighting do you have where you work? Fluorescent? Well, most people do. So what you have to do is get yourself a makeup mirror like this one that has fluorescent lighting right in it. That way you can approximate as nearly as possible the kind of light you'll be working in. And believe me, the color of your makeup light can change your makeup so drastically that you can end up looking pretty silly. Now, we don't want to look overly made up for a business situation, but you'll most likely have on a dress or a suit, so you want to look at least like you have a face on. Come on, let's start. Now, the first thing to do is take a little under-eye lightener just to cover up any little imperfections you might have under your eyes, any dark circles. Been out a little too late the night before. Just sort of brightens up your eyes, too. Smooth it all out, though. Always be sure you've got everything blended well. And you know, if I ever get ahead of you, all you have to do is put your machine on pause and catch up. Take your time. Don't rush your makeup. It's got to last you all day, you know. There, now take your makeup base. The same base that you always use, but this time use it straight. Don't have to dilute it with water now. But be sure you don't get it on too thick. Put it on a sponge and then just blend it on. Don't forget your neck. Don't ever end your makeup just here. Make sure everything's blended down the neck. Then take the other side of the sponge, okay? Go over everything again. Blend it out. Thin it out, too. In a business situation, you don't want to be able to see the makeup, really. You just want to look like you have a nice, smooth skin. Above your eyes. Don't forget to put base above your eyes. That way you have something for the color to latch onto when you put the color there. Okay. Now we're going to use the talcum powder again. But be sure this time you really press the powder into your face. It'll stay a lot longer that way.
Don't forget to powder above your eyes, too. Okay, now we're going to use some color for our eyes now. Not too much. I'm going to use blue because I have blue eyes. And later on in the video, I'm going to show you ways to use color on different color eyes. I'm using a dark blue eyeliner now. And here you can see in stop motion the steps involved in doing the eyes. Now I'll show you in real time. Take a dark blue eyeliner and draw your line as close to the lashes as you can. Both on the bottom and on the top. 